Shout out to G-Man Boxing. Where's the piss bottle? It's over there. All right, people. Canelo Alvarez, Dimitri Bivol. The morning after, or the evening, afternoon after. Uh, we'll talk about more of the fight itself um, at about 7. We'll do a live stream for about an hour. I want to catch the race on this evening, but we'll talk about it more later. But I want to talk about the scorecards. Obviously, we watched the fight last night. Dimitri Bivol definitely won the fight. There, that of which there's no question. The scorecards were disturbingly close. It has to be said, you know, I watched that fight back today. Dimitri Bivol won that round, won the fight comfortably. Like, this was a real 10 2 7, or yeah, 10 2 9 3 type of fight. This was Dimitri Bivol really putting a schooling on Canelo. He didn't beat Canelo black and blue, but it was almost like, see, with Usek versus AJ, you felt that Usek could stop AJ, you know, if he really stepped on the gas. I never felt that about this fight, although Canelo did gas. I never felt that because Canelo has a good chin, his defense is very good. I never felt Bivol was in that kind of position, but you got the impression that Bivol was just, he knew he was superior, and Alvarez really realized, crap, I've kind of, I've overplayed my hand a bit with this guy. Now, Alvarez feels as though, I think he said on, he released a kind of statement on Twitter saying, you know, he feels he won the fight, but, you know, it is what it is, they're going to look to do the rematch, he apparently he's already invoked the rematch clause. Again, we'll talk more about all that later on. What I want to talk about, and what I find so disturbing, and it's again, it's another instance of this in boxing, is these scorecards. Look, at the end of the day, you could say to me, gee, the right man won, and thank God for that, the right man did win. Thank God for that. I mean, if he didn't, did, did, we really could be. I mean, it, heaven forbid. But what a 15 one thirteen, And I'm scratching my head here. Because there was a couple of rounds in this fight that you could kind of say, mm, yeah, like, you could have given it to kind of either or. But, <laughs> I mean, listen to this, right? So, here are the first four rounds. All right, all three judges scored the rounds exactly the same in every round. There was no judge with a different round, right? But I'll read you the first four rounds on Til Tim Cheltenham, Dave Moretti, and Steve Weisfeld. I'll read you what their scorecards were for the first four rounds on all of these scorecards. First round, Alvarez, 10-9. Second round, Alvarez, 10-9. Third round, Alvarez, 10-9. Fourth round, Alvarez, 10-9. People, Alvarez was 4-0 up going into the fifth round. How? How in God's name can someone objectively look at the first four rounds of that fight and score all of them to Alvarez? The second round was a bit closer, to be fair, but I still felt Bivol won the second round. The second round is the only round out of those four rounds I could look and say... Mm, yeah, give that round to Alvarez. Maybe he did land a bit more, but Bivol did still take a foothold in that in that round. The ninth round, all judges gave to Alvarez. The rest, thankfully, they gave to Dimitri Bivol. But God Almighty, I mean, like if you're talking Canelo, even landing a combination on Bivol towards the back end of one of those rounds that Bivol won, wouldn't surprise me to see that change. And here's the thing, right? We have another. This is something that's happening so regular in boxing. Right? And I'm telling you now, I've said it once, I'll say it again, it's not an issue in the States. It's not an issue specifically in Britain. It's not like it's happening in one specific part of the world where you could say, oh, that country is known for you know, judges giving this guy a fight. or this. It's happening everywhere. I mean, we have fighters like, we'll say Callum Smith in the UK when he fought John Ryder. Close fight, very competitive fight, really, really wide scorecards to the house fighter. Always to the house fighter. You know, people always say boxing is subjective. Well, if it's so subjective, how come we don't see it? How come whenever there's like a fight that's close and we see a really wide scorecard or a really bizarre scorecard, nine times, excuse me, nine times out of ten, it's always to the house fighter. Why is that? And in this fight, we have a fight that was clearly Dimitri Bivol. He won this fight clearly, that of which there's no question. And thankfully, the right man won. But the fact that these scorecards were so close, I mean... Literally, right, let's say, for example, the kind of after the fifth round was when Alvarez slowed down and started taking rounds off. But let's say, I believe the eighth round might have been one of Bivol's better rounds, but I think the sixth round was kind of a hit and a miss round. That kind of, that round, 
if Alvarez was a bit busier, you could easily make a case that judges would have gave him that round. If, if he'd have tried harder in the sixth round, draw. What? Seriously, that is how poor these scorecards are. These do not reflect how good a display this was from Dimitri Biffle. And you'll have people saying, oh, well, look at the scorecards. Look how close they were. Like, Alvarez clearly won the fight. They just didn't want to get... It's like, no, this was not a competitive fight. Well, it was competitive. It wasn't like a blowout. But this was a schooling for the most part by Dimitri Bivol. He didn't beat Canelo black and blue. He didn't drop him a couple of times or anything like that. But this is a guy who clearly won way more rounds than the seven rounds he was given. And it's incredible to me. It really is remarkable that Alvarez versus Bivol have scorecards like this. I mean, I, I, I just don't know. I mean, the fact of the matter is they gave Canelo all four rounds of the first four rounds. Shocking. Absolutely shocking. And look, I, I remember watching that fight. Obviously watching it live, doing the watch along, thinking, I mean, I'm dying to see what these scorecards are going to be like. That shouldn't be how, that shouldn't be how boxing is. You know, we shouldn't be watching this sport thinking, okay, I can clearly see what's happening in the ring. One guy is clearly dominating. But I hope these score, I wonder what, they, and it's not just, like, it's so bad that it happens at all different types of levels in boxing. And again, we're given this whole narrative that, oh, boxing with scoring is subjective. Well, if it's so subjective, like, if boxing is subjective, right, how come we're not seeing score? Because if we're looking at a close competitive fight, how come we're not seeing a bizarre scorecard go one way and a bizarre scorecard go the other at a sport if it's so subjective? No, we only ever see scorecards that are too wide, nine times out of ten go to the house fire. You know, there's so many examples. I mean, you know, Josh Taylor, Jack Cattrall. You know, again, you look at Callum Smith versus John Ryder. That was a very competitive fight. I felt John Ryder won the fight. The fact they gave the, 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 the fight to Callum Smith was bad. But the fact they scored it wide, and there wasn't one judge, so it's so subjective, there wasn't one judge who was able, even able to find five rounds to give to Ryder, much less the rounds he won. And he won more than five, obviously. And with Dimitri Bivol, he won more than five rounds in this fight. I mean, the first round alone, what did Canelo do in that first four round? In the first round, he landed a right hand and an uppercut, that was it. He was peppered with the jab in that first round from early on. The third round was another very good round for Dimitri Bivol, as was the fourth round. I mean... Like, you know, I, I complain about Chris Mannix. And, and he's not... He's not my fa He's not my cup of tea in terms of commentators. He's all right. He has his moments. But his scorecard was spot on. Spot on. He had it 9-7. Or sorry, he had it 9-3 uh, to Bivol. How is it that someone like Chris Mannix can have such a clear definitive scorecard, but the, the judges who are supposed to know so much about this can't? It's so r ridiculously close. I mean, look at AJ Usyk. Howard Foster... Didn't Howard Foster score? I think Howard Foster scored the first round to AJ in a fight that in that round that he didn't land anything. He literally landed no shots on Usek and Usek landed a couple of left hands on AJ. But oh yeah, AJ won that round. That's not subjective. That's just it begins with a C, and we all know what I'm talking about. That's what that is. And ah, uh, just how do you fix it? It's just how do you fix it? I don't know. I really don't know. Um, as Teddy Atlas once said, boxing is the only sport where the officials can have dinner with the promoter on the morning of the fight and the evening of the fight, and you expect impartiality. Thankfully, it didn't come to it didn't affect this fight. You know, the right man deservedly won, and I'm thankful for that. But my God, these scorecards are so close. And I just co I couldn't believe it when I looked at this and I saw a clean sweep of the first four rounds for Alvarez. I mean, let's just say for argument's sake, right? Because there was no head clash, but let's just say, right, after six rounds, hypothetical, hypothetical situation, this didn't, let's say in last night's fight, after six rounds, Canelo goes in for a shot, and heads come together, horrendous cut opens up under Bivol's eye, right, obviously accidental clash of heads, doctor says, can't carry on with that, we would have went to the scorecards, and Canelo would have won the fight. Should that happen? No, of course not. But, judges. I wanted to just have a chat about that really quickly. Um, again, thankfully, the right man won. It should have been wider, but the right man won. I do wonder, Canelo's kind of hinted, well, he said he's going to activate the rematch clause. I wonder, I do wonder what's going to happen with the rematch. Um, 
Will they get different judges in? Will they be, if Canelo is a little bit busier, will that mean a case of, okay, there you go, you know, you get the nod now? I don't know. It is a worry when you have so consistent in the sport of boxing. You know, I think that's people, something people talk about a lot, and it is an issue that it's like, you know, you're watching a fight, and you can see what's going on. You're just thinking, I can see what's going on. Everyone can see what's going on. But these scorecards, I wonder what they're going to look like. That shouldn't be. You know, that, that that shouldn't be. That shouldn't be the case. If so if we can see someone's money, it should not be the case. There's just it just shouldn't be. But obviously, as I said, thankfully Bivol won. It is now what time? It is just half five. So we go live at seven. So I'll see you all then. Hope you enjoyed the video. Smash the like, let me know your thoughts. I'll chat to you then, people. Peace.